this video, we are going to learn how to write acidic compound in just three easy steps. What are those? First, write the symbol of the elements. Two, identify the charges. Then perform the crisscross method. Are you now ready? If you are not still familiar with the symbols and the oxidation numbers of the elements, please get your periodic table as your reference. Remember that we have two types of acidic compound, the binary and the ternary acid. Take note that the binary acidic compound has the word hydro in it, while in ternary acidic compound you can find the suffixes OUS and IC. Okay? Remember that as always. OUS is for lower oxidation number and IC is for higher oxidation number. Now let's have an example for binary acidic compound. We have hydrophosphoric acid. Again, as you can see, we have here the word hydro. It means it is a binary acid. In other words, it has only two elements in the compound. So let's have the first step. Write the symbol. Hydro, this hydrogen, the symbol is H. Phosphoric, that is phosphorus, and the symbol is P. Okay? Again, always remember that H should be written first in acidic compound formula. So let's have the second step. Identify the charges of the elements. Hydrogen is positive 1, and phosphorus is negative 3. Where we can find that one in your periodic table if you are not familiar with the symbols and the oxidation numbers. Now let's proceed with the third step. Perform the crisscross method. Again, crisscross method is just exchanging each oxidation number and become its subscript. Therefore, our passive one will be the subscript of phosphorus and then our negative 3 will be the subscript of our hydrogen. And here, we should remove the positive and negative sign because it is now a subscript. So, our formula for hydrophosphoric acid is H3P. Got it? Very good. For our next example, we have phosphoric acid. As you can see, there is no word hydro in it. Therefore, it is a ternary acid. What is there is the suffix IC. Later, we're going to compare what is the difference between phosphoric acid and hydrophosphoric acid. Again, always remember the suffix OUS is for lower oxidation number. And then, the suffix IC is for the higher oxidation number. So, let's have now the first step. Write the symbol. What should be written first is the hydrogen. That symbolizes that it is an acid. The next is phosphoric acid. So, phosphoric acid is PO4. That is coming from the word phosphate. And phosphate has the higher oxidation number. That's why the suffix being used is IC. Got it? Let's proceed with step 2. Identify the charges of the elements or compounds. Hydrogen is positive, 1. And our phosphate is negative, 3. How did we identify that positive 1 is for hydrogen and negative 3 is for the charge of our phosphate? Again, look at your periodic table. For our step 3, let us now perform the crisscross method. How to do it? Again, we're just going to exchange the charges. Therefore, the negative 3 will become the subscript of our hydrogen. And then, the other one, the positive 1 of hydrogen will become the subscript of our phosphate. So, the formula for our phosphoric acid is H3PO4. Now, let us compare the phosphoric acid formula from the previous one, which is the hydrophosphoric acid formula. There it is. As you can see, 
Phosphoric acid is H3PO4. Hydrophosphoric acid is H3P. What's the difference? Hydro is for binary acid. And there will be no hydro for ternary acid compound. Got it? Very good. Now let's proceed with our next example. And we have here phosphorus acid. So how phosphorus acid differs from phosphoric and hydrophosphoric acid? Later we're going to compare. Still our example is a ternary acid because there is no hydro in the compound. Instead we have the suffix OUS. That's why it becomes phosphorus acid. So our first step, write the symbol. And we're going to write first H as an indication that it is an acid. Then phosphorus is PO3. That is the phosphite. Lower oxidation number of phosphate. As for our second step, let's identify now and assign the charges. Hydrogen is always positive. 1. How about our PO3 or our phosphite? That is very good, negative 3. So now we can perform the third step, the freeze cross method, simply exchanging its charges and become our subscript. Very good. Therefore, the positive 3 will become the subscript of our hydrogen, then the positive 1 will be the subscript of our phosphite or PO3 but then again we're going to remove the sign because it is now a subscript therefore our final formula for phosphorus acid is H3PO3 question should we cancel out or eliminate this 3 the answer is no because originally the formula should be H3PO3 parenthesis 1 but then again our 1 is an imaginary number so it is not needed and therefore there is no parenthesis in it okay again we can just remove the parenthesis because there is no subscript to separate from 3 so our phosphorus acid is H3PO3 get it very good so as what I have said lately we're going to compare phosphorus acid to phosphoric acid and hydrophosphoric acid so here it is, phosphorus acid is H3PO3, phosphoric acid is H3PO4, while hydrophosphoric acid is H3P. Got the difference? Very good. So are you ready? It is now your turn. Write the chemical formula of the following acidic compounds. We have hydrobromic acid, hydrosulfuric acid, carbonic acid, sulfurous acid, and sulfuric acid. 